Hello, this is James Cook, uh, Assistant Professor of Social Science at the University of Maine at Augusta, and this is a video for an undergraduate social networks class at the UMA. So we're talking today about converting two-mode information into one-mode information. And in my full course lecture, into which this video is integrated, you've seen a hypothetical congressional network uh, consisting of 10 individuals who don't actually exist, five uh, committees, armed services, agriculture, judiciary, rules, and ethics, uh, a description of a roll call vote that they took, uh, and a state that they are representing in Congress, uh, whether they are in the Republican or Democratic Party, uh, their sex, and their age. You can see that here on the screen in the matrix that I've highlighted here. A problem if we're going to convert this into one mode network information in UCINet is that UCINet cannot handle text. It can't handle the idea of words. It wants to think about things in terms of numbers because a matrix uh, and not just a table in Excel, but a matrix is a mathematical idea. That means we have to convert these non-numerical ideas to numerical ideas. Well, uh, how can we do that? Some of the simplest ways to do that are by creating what's called a dichotomous variable or dummy variable or zero, one variable. A dichotomy means something is either this or that. Uh, so if you ask the question, did a person vote yes on roll call eight, we could say there's a variable called roll call eight yes. And for every instance in which someone voted yes, the numerical answer would be it would be turning on the switch. It would be saying one. One means yes. So we would convert Al Green's yes word answer to a one answer to roll call vote uh, uh, eight, number eight yes. Betty Black would be a zero because she voted no. Cleo Smith would be zero because she voted no. That's fairly simple. We could do the same thing uh, with party. Oh, look, we have Republicans and Democrats, R's and D's. Well, we could ask the question, is somebody a Republican? The answer would be one if it's a yes. And we would input a zero otherwise. Ones and zeros, yeses and nos. We could do the same for sex. Instead of M's and F's for males and females, and yes, I understand that the world actually, in terms of um, uh, intersex individuals and transgender individuals, is a little bit more complicated than that, but for the purposes of this video, let's just say there are only males and females, we can convert that into a question. Is a person female? If the answer is yes, then we would put in a one. If the answer is no, we would enter a zero. Uh, age, fortunately, is already in numerical terms. We can handle that. What about states? In this example of 10 individuals, they are in five states. Vermont. What number does Vermont get? What number does California get? What number does Arizona get or, or, or Maine? Wow. Well, now that's confusing. Uh, in the lecture that I've provided for you, uh, one answer for that is that we can assign an arbitrary number, and I acknowledge it's arbitrary, for each state. Let's put them in alphabetical order. You can see here in the lecture that we've assigned a one to Alabama, two to Alaska, three to Arizona, four to Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, get um, uh, five, six, and seven, and so on, all the way up, if we continue going on down to 50, there are 50 states, 50 numbers. These numbers are arbitrary, but as long as we agree that we're going to use these numbers, then say Vermont would be number 45, and let's head back. We could then say every time you see a Vermont, we're going to put in the number 45. Uh, once we've done that, once we've created this new matrix up at the top, which contains all numbers outside the labels, we can then take that information and we can, excuse me, we can uh, copy it, control C, after we've selected it, and we can paste that right into 
the spreadsheet editor for UCINet. And here we are. Okay, so now we have a matrix. Uh, I can save that matrix and we can begin to then take that information and convert it into uh, one mode information. But it's really important that we not just pick a command and throw all our information in because these are, columns each represent a different kind of information. The last five columns are committees. The, the next column over is a vote. And then there's states and parties and sexes and ages. They all mean something different. And it's important that we understand what kind of uh, social similarity or connection we're talking about and handle each one differently. Let's start with committees. Well, how are we going to handle this? Uh, for the purposes of working with committees, we're going to need to work with multiple columns at once, and we're going to need to create a special matrix that only includes that committee information. So I'm going to click on the column for age, and I am going to delete it. Now, that column is gone. I'm going to select the column for female, delete that, the column is gone. Head back over, select the column for party, the column for age, delete the column, and finally delete the column. Now I'm going to save this committee only information as uh, information in my special folder for social networks that is going to say sample two mode political data committees. I'm writing out the name of a file in a way that can help me remember what it is in case I forget. If you're working with a lot of matrices that might happen for you too. Be sure to describe your, your files with sense and then you'll be able to find them again. When you do something like go to data, and what are we gonna work with now? We're gonna work with the affiliations command as you did in a previous week, working from two mode to one mode. We're gonna select our input data set, and I'm finding that folder again, and then I'm looking for sample, two mode political data committees. Okay, now I want the output data set to be known, so I'm going to go look at the end of that file. It's going to be committees rows, and I want to compare the rows. I want to compare the individual people, so it's important to select rows, and I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to get a result that tells me a few things, and I can, it tells me when I look at this that Betty Black has a value of four with herself. She should be on uh, four committees. Let's check that. Is that true? Yes, Betty Black is on armed services, judiciary, rules, and ethics. Good. Uh, Betty Black, does Betty Black share? I'm just checking through. Uh, one committee with Al Green. Yes, that's the Judiciary Committee. Always check your data. And now I know that that is sitting there, Data Committee's rows, okay, and I have a result. This is, by the way, the UCI Net log. Some of you have had issues where you're trying to uh, work with this and insert it into your WordPress file, or excuse me, your Microsoft Word file. Uh, that's not the best solution for inserting into a, a Word file. Perhaps the best one is to go back to your spreadsheet editor, open from there, and we're going to go to Professional, Sociology Teaching, Social Networks, and I'm going to find my sample two mode, committees, rows. I load it in here. I select all. I copy and then I paste into a spreadsheet in Microsoft Word. Okay. Let's go back to our original data. Which... Oh my. This takes a little bit of time, but don't worry, it's, it's worth it. You'll take that time too. I'm going to take that numerical information 
sample two mode political data numerical, which looks just like you had seen a little while ago. And I'm going to then let's say let's work by either with either uh, female or party or vote or state. Okay. Um, once I set values uh, according to that, and let's let's even go back and let's make sure the data looks the same. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste that in. So the values look the same. So we have for Vermont two values of 45. Uh, what can I do with that? I can head over, and now that I know the name of it, sample two mode political data numerical, I know I'm going to be working with the column for state. I can head over to the data command in UCI net and work from attribute to matrix. And even though I give an arbitrary number for each state, if I am working uh, with state by choosing the column and the value and then looking for exact matches, uh, it doesn't matter if it's 45 or 4,075. As long as Vermont is, the, is always the same number, exact matches will mean the same state. So uh, I'm selecting as my similarity metric exact matches. I've selected the column for state, and I'm going to move ahead. And I'm going to find that Al Green and Betty Black are both in Vermont, and they are connected here uh, with a 1. Uh, let's see if that is accurate. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now, oh, I notice I've made a mistake in my data. How do I notice I've made a mistake in my data? I notice I've made a mistake in my data because although Al Green and Betty Black are both in Vermont and they therefore are connected, I also notice that Al Green is connected to uh, Gina Tremont and to Jasper Wilson. But wait, Gina Tremont and Jasper Wilson are in Texas. Why did they end up connected? Because I made a typographical error. As People are want to do. We all make mistakes. I made a mistake here because if you take a look up here, when I turned numerical data or state data, just the names like Texas and Vermont, into numbers, I accidentally gave the 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 folks who are in Texas, Gina Tremont and Jasper Wilson, the numbers of 45. This is why checking your data is important. Uh, they shouldn't be connected, uh, according to the value same state, uh, to Al Green and to Betty Black. So how do I fix that? Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, now that I know the, the problem, I can fix it by saying, oh, I'm going to give you the number of 77 and 77. I picked that arbitrarily for Texas. Now, when I take that information... And I head back, because I, I have to head back now to UCI net. I'm going to paste in my correct information. There we are. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run the same command. Data, attribute to matrix, state, exact matches. And now I have correct information. Al Green is no longer connected to Gina Tremont or Jasper Wilson. Neither is Betty Black. But Gina Tremont and Jasper Wilson are connected to one another. Whew. Boy, that's safe. That's good. And now that I can work with that and, and be happy about it, uh, I'm a much happier person. I can move on. Uh, let's. You can work with uh, female and Republican. Uh, as variables in the same way that you did with state, even though there's only two values, zeros and ones. You can look for exact matches. What about with age? Do we want exact matches? Should two people only be listed as connected by age if they are of exactly the same age? Um, I'm going to suggest perhaps not. If we take a look at uh, Harry Foster and Inez Momo, for instance, there's 36 and 37. They're only separated by one year. Now, that's a big deal if you're a toddler, right? But if you're in your 30s, 
The difference between 36 and 37 is negligible. The difference between Betty Black and Edna Millay, 53 and 55, is also negligible. However, the difference between Inez Momo and Al Green, 36 years of age and 81 years of age? That's a big deal. So we want to be able to represent that as an idea. Uh, I've been using the word difference. And really, difference is what we're interested in. So how am I going to create a matrix that represents age difference? Well, I'm going to head back to data, attributes to matrix, and I'm going to select the column uh, age. But instead of exact matches, I'm going to look for uh, not difference, which is valued, like uh, if one person's older than another, it would be positive. If one person's younger than another, it would be negative. But I actually want absolute dist difference, which means that um, if you're five years younger than me, you have a distance of five from me. If you're five years older than me, you have a distance of five from me. Absolute means you take away the plus or minus sign. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm working from the right input data set. I'm going to hit OK. And there we have it. Uh, Inez Momo and Harry Forrest are at a difference of one. Uh, Edna Malay and Betty Black are at a distance of two. Inez Momo and Al Green are at a distance of 45 years. So in this case, we have a matrix that means the higher the number is, the greater the distance. Uh, and if we think that age is something that separates people in groups, according to homophily, then we would predict that there would be a negative relationship between the value of this matrix and the probability of some kind of tie, or maybe the probability of some kind of similar vote. I hope that this uh, video has been helpful for you in uh, figuring out how to create uh, one-mode matrices from different kinds of two-mode data in UCI Net, and how to think about it in a way uh, that helps you be sure that what you have in your matrix isn't junk, doesn't contain errors, is fact-checked, uh, and makes some kind of substantive real-world sense, because that's what we want to do. We want to predict how things happen out in the real world. We want to get out beyond our uh, technology and our sweet software programs to talk about the real world. Okay, it's your turn for your second major assignment. I wish you luck. And if you have trouble, and it's okay to have trouble, don't have trouble alone. Get in touch with me and we can work out some of your troubles together. Thank you.